right, look at Young Dundas Square. Thank goodness those winds are finally winding down. Some they created a ton of damage, it was created crazy so many power last outages. Night. People saw patio tables flying all over the place. Trees were coming down. My gosh. Yeah, up to almost 100 kilometer per hour winds. Yesterday was indeed a record breaking day, 18.3 degrees. Uh, Super mild in the morning. Yeah, yeah the cold front came through and uh, bad hair dues oh. all <laughs> over the city. Oh, yeah. At one point, yeah. I had to grab onto the, the traffic no post way. because I thought it was going to take me away. And I'm a hefty, solid Italian girl made of lots of pasta. Yeah. I'm telling you, poor women with the baby strollers, they we were veering that. left. It was insane. Yeah. I was on the 43rd floor, and my building was going back and forth. Was like it this. swaying? And actually, Winston was telling me that the water in his toilet bowl was moving back and forth. Look at this! Look at this! With the he, baby stroller, took yeah, two people, that. and all the lights. Yeah. And Winston, you had uh, you had issues in your condo as well. But then I was chatting with Kimberly Selden, a guest expert on mm -hmm. City Line, and she lives on the 33rd floor. I live on the 34th floor, and we were both saying that the water in our toilet bowls were swishing back oh and forth. God. Two elevators in my building were down because of the wind. I guess there's a risk that I guess it can hit hit the walls when was, the building is swaying. So. Was anyone in there? No, no, oh, but they gosh. took them out of service. They're, they're very safe, so they go straight to the ground level and they stop, but uh, it definitely lots of concern. Believe it or not, architecturally, mm -hmm. Speaking, they say it. They they are built to withstand, sway. and when sway, they actually yeah. sway, that's yeah. a good thing because it's not putting a lot of pressure on them where they then snap, right? Well, but the it feels tower weird. has a lot of movement within the tower itself. Yeah. You know, what we all need a vacation. Who wants to stay at an awesome hotel in Europe for free? I do. Okay. Well, what if you, you have, about? if you're on Facebook and you, I wish I am. Okay. Well. This may be tricky for you. Okay. If you're on Facebook and you're not considered a personality or famous or you know on TV with leverage, and you have two thousand more I'm than two, <laughs> if you have more than two thousand <laughs> friends on Facebook, you qualify to stay at check this out one of Europe's coolest hotels. It's called the Luxury Nordic Light Hotel in Stockholm, and nice. it's accepting people with large social network presence as a form of currency. So if you've got over two thousand friends on Facebook, you can stay in a room for up to seven nights completely free. As a private so. So that, this, this means if you're just, you know, an average person who uses Facebook and you yeah. have over 2,000 friends. But is there expectations? Do you have to tweet or post well, it, it or is there anything say, else but like, that? Let's be honest. That's a cool hotel and you're saving a bundle. It's well, they're looking for a marketing, a yeah, marketing ploy. ploy. Yeah. Um, if you're more well known, you need to have over 100,000 followers okay. on Instagram or your Facebook page. So this is, page. yeah, this right. is a business thing. So with personalities, when they tweet out, oh, I stayed at this hotel, mm. their redemption rate would probably be a lot lower than a friend saying, oh, I stayed at this great place, you have to go. So with because that Because you're saying, if you have 2,000 family and friends, you're going to do the word of mouth thing the word versus of mouth somebody thing like a Kim pay. Kardashian, you know it's her son. You know she's getting paid to do that. And I just read a study on social media that says that the trust factor of uh, hearing from your social network where you endorse something that yeah. people will be more enticed to use that service or go stay at that hotel from hearing a recommendation from one of their friends. Interesting you say that yes. because I've been approached by people online saying, DM me for a quick second, I have a great uh, business uh, venture for you. And sure enough, they're offering like 1,700 or 2,000 or 10,000 followers if you pay them cash. Oh, and no, I'm no, like, no. what's the point of social media if you have to pay for followers? And sure enough, there's now the reverse thing oh, happening oh, oh. where there's um, uh, businesses who can detect how yeah, many yeah. people, a lot of people you've use purchased yeah, the fake followers. through the fake eggs that aren't activated, right? So, I mean, it all cancels itself out. Just do it the yeah. normal A lot of people way. used to do that, though, so that people would see their amount of followers and then approach them for business ideas because of that. But when somebody so goes from, inverse. like, 2,000 followers to 146,000, don't you know that they bought followers? Maybe they got huge in Mexico. You never know. Maybe they were on uh, Cosmopolitan Mexico. Well, you know my father's watching right now going, what the heck what are, they are they talking, talking about? about? Yeah. What are they followers? <laughs> well, if he has 2,000 fans followers. on Facebook, he can stay there for free. Your dad yeah. has um, 2,000 friends in real life, though. This is social media at its best, guys. A 30-year-old man with Down syndrome, uh, his parents wrote on Facebook saying he loves to receive things in the mail and postcards. They asked for their family and friends to pass the message around. Well, didn't he get 30 thousand oh, wow. birthday cards oh, a special gosh. delivery truck had to deliver them to his house in northern france and cards were received from as far as sri lanka and hong kong that's his amazing. mom was brought to tears by this amazing gesture and that's what social media should be about positivity exactly. and using it as a platform for good so good on them speaking of yes. i think we have to write some christmas cards don't we oh well, we got to do it no i just do everything online now. oh yeah that's <laughs> yeah. true we'll send Fra one out frankie's e-carding everybody no I, he I'm does a, the dancing elf with i'm an environmentalist you know? i'm I like trying that. to get rid of the waste of paper be green that's what i'm trying but not to say. greedy we'll be back with more bt right after this yeah
Give me the... 